Hello, this is Pagan MC here, and welcome back to the Runeglade server. You alright? How are you doing? I've been quite busy down here, as you can see. I haven't been able to spend a vast amount of time. Just a couple of hours here and there over these last few days. Been, I think last episode, yeah, I had the storage and the brewing set up. Then as you can see, I've been quite busy in this main room. Get an integration from this elevator to go up and down. And then yeah, into this main room and then down. It took me a while though to get this elevator to work. It is dependent on lag. Unfortunately, I can't get it timings to get it completely multiplayer safe. Will it work first time? Whee! If, it, if it's raining, it's uh, particularly bothersome. Or if there's a few of us on, which isn't that often, but if there's a few of us, it then struggles as well. Will it work again? No. It's probably... about 80%, 85%. Oh. Get to that. I quickly... Uh, Go into my test world and I'll show you how that's made. I actually don't seem to have my prototype. I, I did it in here. I've been messing on with a few other different little things. You can see for that secret door how that works. Yeah, I've just tried to log actually back into the room glade as well. I thought, all right, don't have it here. And the login servers are down. There's actually something else I wanted to show you. I was going to have it later on in the video. I can show you it now. As I'm wanting some help. And I don't know. This is what I'm wanting. Is a hidden horse. Like elevator. So what we have here. I don't know if you saw that. These two go down. And then those slime blocks. Um, piston back up again. So what I want, will you stay there? Oh, come on, go down. All right, all right. Game mode. Free. And game mode one. There we go. Game mode 3 seems the easiest way to uh, load it up. Come on. Come on. Sorry, horse. Right, as you can see by all the horses, I've been I was giving this a good go yesterday. So what I want is the horse down there. I want to press a button. So then these blocks disappear under here. There's a piston with the slime blocks. That seems to be as close as I can get it without the horse always taking suffocation damage when ooh, these pistons go up. As there's only a one block, like, height. So, yeah, if you... watch. So, it does work. The horse glitches up. But going back down... And yeah, if you could hear the horse took suffocation, I don't know if it's possible to have it this hidden. It's when the horse comes back up again, it's getting these to shut quick enough so that the horse jumps up and then they shut instantly. Because they've got to go across then up, I can't get that right. Of course, if I was just to have two pistons either side, and just pushing a single block over, well, you could do that instantly. And to get the horse jump up and go over, I don't know, I've looked around, I like to do stuff myself, I've looked around on YouTube to see if there's any tutorials, anything anyone's made for a hidden, and I can't find any. So I don't know if anyone watching has any ideas or nose of a tutorial for like a hidden horse elevator 
as such that it's yeah I can't just quite as it throws the horse up I can't get these to f cut fast enough uh, the timings are all as fast as I can make them I suppose for some of it though I could Yeah, it's if I could get rid of some of these repeaters, but then I don't know how to do it all. Yeah, it's it's just difficult. And I'll leave it here. I'm going to see. I see. I'm sure I had. I thought I had my elevator in here. Maybe not. Is that it? No. I think that was the design to get villages up. I think. Yeah, and then I'm gonna try and get back onto the server, and hopefully the logging servers will be up soon. It didn't take too long getting back onto the server. I wonder then. Can I just carefully take this apart enough? Let's have a look. I think that should be enough to explain what happens. So. When you press the button to go, obviously this bounces you up so high. And then these two pistons here, or this piston and the slime block, both then, like, with the timing. This goes first, and then second, a few ticks later. I think it's about three ticks on a repeater. This gets pushed over with the slime block as well. There's two pistons behind there pushing those both over. And then that block here is then powered like this for... It's the shortest, same again, it's about two ticks. It's just, if it was powered for any quicker, it would leave the slime block behind. So, to get that, for the single pulse for that... This uses, yeah, if I can click it. As you can see, that this piston here makes sure only a pulse bugger. Makes sure only a single pulse gets through. I believe you want to. Here. Can I. These are the two pistons that push over this piston. The slime block is over. And then there's just some gubbins at the back. Uh, I take the signal from this up. It's just a simple torch tower there that goes up. This might be easier to see. I won't put the block there, so this won't fire. Just show you them. And let's put this one back. So you can kind of see how it all works. And yeah, it it works very nicely. I'm rather proud of myself for this one. There's probably other designs like it, but I didn't do it through a tutorial. I came up with it myself. Well, I've got one brick left. Uh, I know there's no block there, but I don't like to have a block left. You there? I think that's right. Let's see if it still works. So up, through, and up. Yeah, very happy. Anyway, so I've got this main room and the elevator that works, like I said, for 80% of the time. Here, um, you never saw that. Here, I'm thinking of having, uh, of, well, I was thinking of like a bedroom. Maybe having the bed and the bedroom down this end of the room. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the walls in first and then see how much room I've got left. Don't know that that hole there ooh, is where I was thinking of putting that uh, like hidden horse elevator. That's see if I can get a design or come up with one or anyone can help out that actually works. If not, probably bedroom here. I want armor stands, 
going down with emergency and spare armor on. And then some sort of uh, dispenser set up as well. So in the event of death, you've got to get your items quick. We've all seen them. You have dispensers on the side with weapons and armor and it automatically puts it on you. Oh, you can see more of this thing here. Downstairs. So again, I did the... I think I talked about last episode about putting a corridor down here. I've into the side of the King of the Ladder and used the black glass to like still keep it covered. Which I quite like. The stairway going down. And this is what I've been working on down here. I'm still unsure about these pillars. I, I wanted to keep a similar style from upstairs. But change it so. I don't know if you can see. The orientation of everything up here is this way. So I flick, I flipped everything down this way now. So it's orientating the other way. And it's trying to make use of the space. I think this is going to be the corridor. And then have rooms off at the side. With simple dividers. Because I'm wanting to... The way I've started like, to dig into the King of the Ladder. I want it to look like this, is, this building has been here for a long time. And I've just moved in. And I'm basically retrofitting it for my needs. So where uh, I've got to put a hole through something or hastily repair something I have done. So it's so for down here I'm doing these first and then I have built rooms to fit in within this. This'll probably be enchanting. Don't know. I've got some sort of seating area here. To look out to the private room over there. We have the beacons here. Which I was a bit unsure what to do with. Because they're not the off centre. And they're a bit in the way. But I like them having them this height. And I've changed the way that they I can control them on and off. I don't know why I'd never thought of this before. To turn them off before I had a piston. On each end. Removing, it'd be the iron block under that uh, diorite. Where all I've got to do for this setup is just to remove the middle block. So I have a piston and then the redstone torch lets the signal pass over but doesn't interfere with the beams. And this signal then goes upstairs the same. I'm thinking if I had a button on me, I could have showed you. Or a switch. Hey, let me get a lever and I'll show you from down there. It's simpler than going upstairs. Ooh. The only thing with this, though, you can't sprint jump everywhere. So you keep hitting your head. Well, this bit's not too bad. See, so if they are off... And that's it. And the way the piston pulls up the block around the beacons, it updates the beacons instantly. So it's not like when you cover them and it takes, you know, a few sometimes a few seconds for them to turn off. You turn them off instant. And then these light up. Then to turn them back on. And so again, instant back on. Gets the block updates the pistons. I think it's as quick as you can ever get a beacon to turn on and off. And that's about it, it up to now and here. This bit. Yeah, I'm unsure what to do in here. I didn't know whether to put in... I was thinking of another secret room. But I've already got that one there. So yeah, I'm undecided what to do with this. I know the next floor down from this... Oh, get the food. Yeah, talking about food. Yeah, the next floor down from this, I think, is going to have to be farms. 
well, food, probably just uh, potatoes, as I'm slowly running out of some. I said maybe I've just done somewhere temporary, but no. Um, for coming further videos on the server, there might be a little bit sparse. Um, just because there's going to be another server I'm going to play on as well. And I'm unsure exactly how I'm going to be dividing my time up. I was still really enjoying playing on this server. But I don't think I've ever played on two servers at the same time. So I'm just going to have to see how that works out. I'm still excited and looking forward to getting this finished up. But you know it's like sometimes when there's a new server, new stuff, new people. And you want to put a little bit of effort in there to get yourself established. I am record, uh, planning to record on that server as well. So there isn't going to be any lack of videos from me. It's just going to be on another server as well. So I think I'm going to uh, leave it here for this episode and update. Next time you see me, might be on the other server. And I'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye.